From this lecture, you will learn some important messaging concepts, starting with the key terminology that we use when we deal with messaging, the two different models in which messages can be produced and consumed, the two different ways to consume a message, and finally, what administered objects are. In the world of messaging, we have an application or a component that sends a message or produces a message to a particular destination. Then we have another component within an application or a separate application altogether reading that message. So these two applications are completely decoupled. They don't need not know about each other. They simply one application puts a message, the other one reads it. So these two are called producer and then a consumer or provider and then a client. The destination itself is managed or provided by mom or message oriented middleware like MQ series, Sonic MQ, etc. There are two different modes or ways in which the messages can be produced and consumed point to point or P2P, wherein app one produces a message or it writes a message to the destination and app two consumes that message. So there is only one single app that reads the message of the queue. There can be multiple apps, but at a time, only one app will read a message. And once that message is read, another app cannot read the same message. In case of P2P communication, the destination is called a queue because queue is first come, first serve. As soon as the message comes in, whichever app reads it, gets the message. The message will stay in the queue until at least one application or component reads the message. That is the key advantage of having queues. They are very reliable. The second way of communication is publish subscribe, wherein we have a publisher who publishes a message. Then we have multiple subscribers who subscribe to this particular destination, which is actually called a topic. And every one of them will get the message. So the message will stay in a topic until all the subscribers who have subscribed will read the message or will get the message. A good example for publish subscribe is the YouTube channel itself, wherein all my subscribers get an email or a notification every time I upload a message or every time I upload a video onto my YouTube channel. There are two different models in which a message can be consumed. One is the synchronous model wherein app one sends a message to the queue or topic and app two is reading it off the queue right away or it keeps polling the queue for a message or the asynchronous most more famous way wherein it completely decouples these two applications. Application 2 need not keep polling the queue for the message. The message oriented middleware will notify app 2 and it will give the message to app 2 when a message comes into the queue in an asynchronous manner. Finally, there are different administered objects. The queues, topics, the connection factory, all these in the messaging world are called administered objects because we create them at deployment time when we deploy our entire J2W application or any application. We create the connection factory, we create the queue, we create the topic either manually, which is rare. Usually we create them as a part of our build scripts. We do it only once. The connection factory is for the client to send the messages. So when we write a JMS client or a messaging client, we use first we create a or get a connection factory and then we create a session or a connection and then start sending the messages. Similarly, we can use the connection factory to read the message of the queue or topic. The queue, as you already know, in P2P communication, point to point communication, the destination is called a queue. In publish subscribe model, the destination is called a topic. All these administered objects, once deployed, are usually available through a JNDI name. So when, I, when we create scripts to create these on our web sphere, web logic, or Sonic MQ or any message oriented middleware softwares, we expose them out as a JNDI entry so that our applications, our Java EE applications can look up for them and start sending and receiving messages. To summarize from this lecture, we have learned the key terminology that we use in messaging starting from producers, consumers to queues, topics, publish, subscribe and then point to point messaging and also synchronous and asynchronous ways. In asynchronous way, we have the MDB, which is a Java EE component or a EJB component. 
that we can create and our application servers will call into that MDB. More details on that in the future lectures. We also learned about administered objects. We create them during deployment. These are the objects that are key for our messaging infrastructure. We usually look up for these objects using a JNDI lookup.